I got laid off and had a little bit of cash in the bank. Decided I'd try something that I enjoyed. Here we are, eight years later. Down the road comes from my want to have a, a name that connotates local and then also that people can kind of take ownership of. It's New England, I mean, everybody says, what is it right down the road? So we always try to have fresh beer on tap and in the stores. You know, we're trying to make it as local to the person that's drinking it as possible. We're trying to make it so that it's something interesting and unique, inspired. That that's what fresh, local, and inspired means. It's a lot of hard work from a bunch of guys, gals, to go from grain to glass to putting it in a glass, serving it to the person. You know, we just try to do the best we can on a daily basis. You know, put out the best beer we can. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure why I do it. I enjoy it. That's why. <laughs> The beer industry has been an attractive industry to me for a while for a number of reasons. The most obvious one is, is beer, but more than that, it's the people and the culture. It's a very communal industry. Everybody likes everybody. Everybody tries to help everybody, which really attracted me to it. And it's business. It's competitive and it's getting bigger every day. I took that love of beer into an English degree at Bowdoin, and senior year I ended up writing the beer review column, which they actually called Beer Fever with Weaver, and I just kind of had fun with beer as a social medium, and I think that's kind of what sparked the interest. For me, it is really pushing this brand to be more than what it was yesterday. It's exciting and challenging and I've been able to do a ton of stuff here that you know I couldn't do as a writer. No two days here are the same which can be sort of crazy but also makes coming to work interesting and exciting. The, the beauty of a craft brewery like this is you and I could come up with some crazy beer idea and we could brew it tomorrow. I first started working here, it was just a blank warehouse. So I was doing things like construction, putting in hardwood floors, things that I've never done before. But I've learned that I can take my adrenaline that I feel from all this nervousness of, of something new to, to be able to complete the task. And from that, I've really learned that anything I put my mind to, I can do it successfully. So actually, I went to school at Rutgers University for geoscience. I got out, I wanted to use my chemistry experience, so I figured brewing would be like a fun and interesting substitute. What really stuck out to me about Down the Road was their artwork, and how all of their artwork is based off of local folklore or legend, and I just thought that was really interesting. The people that I work with make me want to stay. Uh, I've gotten to know these guys really well. We're great friends, we hang out on the weekends. When we started, it wasn't to make as much money as we can. We just wanted to make beer for our friends and beer for people who enjoy it. And so seeing people smile when they drink and enjoy what they have, that's, that's what I like to see. I was super attracted to Down the Road because they were doing a lot of experimental things, different flavors and, and different beers that I've never heard of. I think here at Down the Road, you work really hard, but we also play hard too. We're really good friends. We all hang out, um, so I think that's that's super positive. Stay friends, yeah. <laughs> wow! Come on, move along. The creativity here is is pretty flat out evident. From how we put together the tap room to the whole crew in the warehouse, they're just they're awesome. Um, with the ingenuity, with the beers. We have so much to offer right now. There's, there's literally something for everybody. Um, if a guest comes to the bar and says, I was brought here by someone, I don't drink beer. That's kind of my favorite guest because I'm gonna try them on stuff that they've probably never heard of, probably never tasted, and nine times out of 10, they're gonna walk out of here being like, I have a favorite beer. It's why we do it. No, we're not doing it for ourselves here. It's putting that product, putting that experience out into the world and seeing what our folks are saying about it. Uh, it's, it's just a cool atmosphere and, I mean, again, pinball and beer, my two favorite things. What, could, what else could be better? You get to try something new every time you come here. The best IPAs, the best Belgian beers, and just good time. Good beer, right? Good friends. 
Anybody beer cans else? here have sick paintings on them. The most important thing to me here um, in running the tap room is the guest, is the guest experience. What's new? What are they going to look forward to? What can they anticipate? And again, whether that's the art on our walls, it's a fresh beer that's coming out next month, a seasonal beer, or maybe it's the newest pinball machine that we have, which is a huge draw for us as well. I got into this industry because I'm a people person. I originally went to New York for film and acting. Who hasn't? Um, but being a people person, you get to know someone, you start talking to someone about their day in the tap room. It's just all about relationships and you know having a team to back you up and then just making it work.